pieces and you see the whole image on this on every piece same thing you take a part of your soul energy out it will manifest as the whole of you I have had parts of my soul tortured since I was five years old a shaman told me because they knew what I was doing here they knew they had to keep me from connecting to love that was their strategy they have been torturing me in the worst ways on a different plane and I forgive them that's that was then I'm not looking at them as a warrior or else I contribute to the destruction I'm looking at them as if I were a cosmic universal physician that has come in here to fix the problem you can be a psychiatrist and have a patient that patient may reach up and smack you are you to take offense or to understand the disorder I am to understand the disorder see that's the trick every time you are ashamed of parts of you at any point in time that resonance that was in connection to God hate parts of yourself for things you've done and don't know you were manipulated to do it um you kick it out of your body have you ever seen like when you're downloading a torrent online that starts to collect pieces and you see all those gaps in it that's what you are right now you have all kinds of gaps of yourself stuck on the outside of your body a barrier here's the beauty though see once they're kicked out of your body those parts of you see what's going on in this world yep so from the creator and the creative consciousness into my soul and my mind said here's how it will work out forgiveness is understanding I'm making you understand you will make everybody else understand then they will erase the barrier forgive themselves by healing themselves opening up that resonance getting rid of when you go back and heal yourself in the past of anything whether it was last week or 20 years ago everything you hate yourself for I don't like my teeth, I don't like this, I don't like that, whatever. You have an imprint on you that keeps that energy outside of your body. Now, when you understand, you can only forgive when you understand. Otherwise you won't, and it won't work. You can't pretend to forgive any more than you can pretend to love. You, once you understand those moments and you go through them, it's kind of like in your mind, get back in here. I love you. And that comes in, and now you have a quantum of energy that has information from the outside. And it is that part of you that starts to wake you up. That is how I started seeing the subliminal messages. Those parts of me on the outside could see it. I could not. And the only way was to forgive that part of me and love it and invite it back. And now more energy comes into me with this new awareness that can communicate with the Creator and me and you go back and forth and you have to visualize yourself like uh, from the very moment you were conceived all the way to the future uh, till you die and each minute like uh, along this huge line each day each you know just this huge you know 500,000 mile long line of you going up from growth of baby all the way to adulthood to death and each point is a, a, a moment in time see the point of you being healed exists in the future too the future is all possibilities so in one of those futures is your completely healed state do not think you cannot go to that point in your mind and take the energy from that being completely healed and let it start to inform your DNA and your body now so that you walk into that paradigm not dimensionally like one foot in front of the other but in a paradigm you shift into that paradigm then keep going back and forth and left and right and every time you finally realize that you should forgive the parts that you hate that part jumps back in you now you're closer and closer to God you start to be able to get the subtle uh, information to your soul from God and you keep doing this now that those are opened uh, it starts to take command over structure 
you start to realize things like maybe I shouldn't eat animals. Maybe, oh my gosh, this is wrong. Hey, I understand this now. You know, I have to interrupt this real quick just to something that came to mind uh, that I want to get out before I forget it. And that was a lot of my questions about religion and working through that because I had been warped into thinking religion meant God and vice versa. I said, what does this do with Jesus Christ? What is this all about? What, what is the deal? Because they already tried to terminate my life and in infusing me with all this guilt and saying, do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And they're about to kill me before I went to the hospital that time. I think I mentioned that in another upload. If, <laughs> if not, I'll explain that at a different time. But um, I had to ask the Creator, what is the deal with this name? Ultimately, it's a, well, quite firmly, don't worry about it. Um, and then it used several, you know, commanded my mind to extract metaphors. One was, say you had a tumor in your body, and, you know, it's all ready to... <laughs> repair itself and it does and all of a sudden it realizes you have that, that spontaneous healing and it disconnects from the tumor cells and your, your other cells start to clean it up and then you say last minute I would say okay I'm glad you healed yourself and everything but I want you to I'm gonna have to have you accept me as your Lord and Savior and if you don't I'm gonna turn you back into cancer or kick you out of my body because I'm that insecure um, you know because that's what love is. I need you to worship me. <laughs> and then I'm put into my mind as the creative force. Do you think I am that insecure? I said, what is your name? Jonathan. Did you give yourself that name? And I realized in my mind as it guided it, that I was a baby and... and uh, my parents kept making the sound, John, Jonathan. Finally, I looked up and noticed they were looking at me all the time when they said that. And eventually, my mind identified with the name Jonathan. And then, as life did, you know, ensued, here, throw this ball into the hoop. You made it. Yay, you're good at basketball. Oh, the mind, plastic and self-aware, starts to pursue that input and practice basketball. Oh, you're good at this. You're not good at that. You are this. You are not that. You can do this. You can't do that. So that is the formation of your ego. It's an illusion. So if you're thinking about Jesus Christ, did he name himself that? So if you worship that name, are you not in one way worshiping the will of man imposed upon that being? And that wasn't even the name, so what deity is that symbol, that name, associated with? Where's that energy going? And then it made me realize, the cross is an occult symbol. Jesus didn't make that cross. They made it, the Satanists. Made him carry it and killed him on it. And they're using the cross as the sign of God, which is structure, which is insanity. And if you focus your energy on that, you're directing your energy to it, and they absorb that energy. It said, if you did everything and repaired yourself to have the innocence of the child who does not sin, and did everything in accordance with creation, and then all of a sudden you were judged saying you have to accept a name and you couldn't survive without doing that, would you even want to exist in that type of universe? No, I wouldn't. I said, well, did he or did he not exist? It won't tell me. I say, why? He says, how are you going to learn if I tell you? Basically. Do you need to read a Bible to communicate with me right now? No, I don't. Exactly. 